Michael, Michael Hornby. Good morning, Rob. Proprietor of said establishment, co-hosting today as well. And in uh, about three weeks, you're headed back to Charleston for an interim session, which could be a special session as well. It could be. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing it might be pushed to June. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you never know. Via telephone, uh, Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney Matt Harvey. Yesterday, a decision was made by the courts to remove the two Jefferson County Commissioners, Jackson and Kraus, uh, from a situation that's been ongoing for the better part of uh, the last six months or so. Matt, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Rob. Good morning, Mike. Matt, take me through the process here and the ruling yesterday by the uh, three-judge panel. Well, the, the process, just to, to catch up, was back on March 26th and 27th. There was two days of, of evidence that was put on, uh, of course, by myself. And the respondents with their attorney were present, and they had an opportunity to cross-examine all the witnesses that I put on, challenge any documents that I submitted as as, as an exhibit for evidentiary purposes. And they had an opportunity to put on their own evidence, and they did, and call their own witnesses. And they, and they did that as well. And we were given instructions by the court to have our proposed findings of fact and conclusions of law submitted by the 19th of April. That would allow us time to review the transcript from the proceedings, each party. And then we had four day, uh, excuse me, till the 20, second or 23rd excuse me of april to respond to the other party's initial proposed uh findings of fact and conclusions of law so last tuesday was was that date and then it took the the three judge panel a week from receiving our final submissions uh to issue their decision and that's where we're at today which removes found that the the, uh, that i had proven uh, beyond clear and convincing evidence, which is the highest burden in civil law, it's under it's it's not quite as high as beyond a reasonable doubt, but it's the highest civil burden we have. That clear and convincing evidence that that number one that they did the conduct so alleged, and that that conduct warrants removal. Matt, there were some critics of this who said because this was a five-member commission and these laws were written for a three-member commission that this would not hold up in court. <laughs> well, that I never understood that legal analysis. I don't know who made that, that it, um, or where they got that, but I have heard that certainly as well, and I heard that in court. And that was, is, simply makes no logical sense whatsoever as a lawyer. That's why I couldn't wrap my head around it. If if the laws were only written for three person commissions and not five, then what code applies to Jefferson or Berkeley County? There it, there wouldn't be any. They would be free to do whatever they want, and that's an absurd result. And oh by the way, if you the code that they cite that says that county commission shall consist of three members, if you read the next code seven one one a, it says. It allows for commissions to expand beyond three members. So the code absolutely contemplates more than three-person commissions. It's right there in black and white. And they were, they were just seeking some sort of um, result that wasn't contemplated or supported by the law. So, right. and, and again, that, those are – and I'm not pointing that at the respondents. I, I never heard – any of their legal arguments except through their attorney it's just i heard the same things that you heard rob matt did the uh did the panel hear directly from either one of the commissioners did, did no, they testify they, they they were i called them to the stand and they asserted their fifth amendment right against self-incrimination or they they asserted their fifth amendment right yes matt when are they expected to vacate their seats it's they're vacated Immediately. On a temporary, but yes, they they as of twelve thirty eight yesterday, they have been removed from office. Now, I say that to, to with the caveat that six uh, West Virginia Code six six seven provides the process going forward, which is that the current commission will appoint uh, re temporary replacements, and the two respondents have an opportunity to uh, appeal this within 30 days. And then that 30 days, uh, let's say that they assume that they do, 
then the 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 official vacancy would end once the Supreme Court makes their decision. It either ends by them not filing an appeal or when the fi- appeal's completed is when the official vacancy begins. Right now, it's just they're removed for the purposes of of a t- uh, for a temporary. I want to read a paragraph to you from the journal article on this. And it says, instead, the panel indicated the commissioners chose to protest the process of the appointment, something the panel indicated state code does not allow them to do. In addition, both respondents chose to invoke their Fifth Amendment privilege and failed to testify on their own behalf, which, quotes, the court finds that it will draw an adverse inference as a result of the Fifth Amendment assertion. I, I read that, and I'm not an attorney, to say that because you chose to invoke the Fifth, as is your right, the court is drawing an adverse inference from that, meaning not a favorable opinion of you choosing to invoke the fifth. Am I reading that correctly? Almost. Almost. What that means is the, the questions posed to them and what, what they chose to plead the fifth to, and, they did, and let me be clear, they, once you invoke your Fifth Amendment right, you don't get to pick and choose which questions you answer. Uh, it's an all-or-nothing proposition. So in this proceeding, for example, they, they, they did respond with their name, of course, and their position. And then after that, every other question I asked, they, they invoked their Fifth Amendment right. And so what the adverse inference is what that question asks. It's, it's, a, it's an inference for each question that's asked after that where that uh, privilege is invoked. All right. It's not just a total negative, you're guilty or you're def- deficient or, or what, whatever. It's, 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 so the inference would be for each question I asked that it would have been negative for them to answer. Okay. Now, uh, also. And oh, by the way, by the way, the, for anybody that's curious, that full interaction, the questions that I asked each of the respondents is contained in the, the final order. It's, there not, there's not very many questions. So if anybody is curious, and I would, I would encourage everyone to, to read the order if you have any questions about what the court found and what, they, what, what the questions ask, read the final order. It is it's, a, a, it's all there. It's a 47-page order, is, by the way. It's a 40, 47, 48-page pa- order, and they, weren't, they didn't beat around the bush. And the, the, This was a sharp rebuke to the actions that they chose to do. The court was very strong in their ruling that what they that they had a duty to meet, they they could not put conditions on, of attendance and attendance is an absolute duty and that they failed in their duties to address the county business in several different ways. And they 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 found several different grounds that was was sufficient for a removal and were was very strong in the language and by that I mean they they use the word weaponization more than once to describe the conduct of these two respondents. So Matt, when will the Jefferson County Commission be whole again and back to normal? What's the soonest well, that can happen? Uh, that or realistic? That's to be seen. Yeah. Well, I don't have an answer for that right now. Um, I think that th- that those questions will be answered soon. And Matt, uh, last question for you is that uh, both of these commissioners, uh, or at least one of them, maybe both, have been making public comments on fa- various social media pages. Uh, one, I'm told, even appeared on a podcast from a host across the state to make statements since this has been undergoing. Were you able to use any of those public statements in this particular hearing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Used all the... Uh, all the Facebook posts from the two respondents, I got in, um, I used two public, one was an interview and one was a campaign speech, uh, one for each that that they made. And that, all this is in evidence, by the way. Um, the transcripts of their interviews is, is, is in the, you can go look at the court file, it's in the evidence, is one of the exhibits that... Uh, and that that was part of the that's part of the record of this. Now there was some th- those two statements that I'm referencing were made the week after I filed the removal action, and and, and just let me 
I filed the removal on November 13th. There was a scheduled hearing commission meeting on the 16th, and they still didn't go to that one, even after I filed this petition for removal. The only only reason they went back is was under court order and the threat of being held in contempt. Um, so, but but to answer to fully answer that question, the further that that uh, was away from the incident, uh, it just didn't seem like it was necessary at that point. And Matt, the Jefferson County Commission will function as a three-member commission until they are able to point two additional members, and will still be able to conduct full business with the county. Correct. Three is a quorum, yes. Yes. And when, did the, when, so, does the, when does the commission next meet, or when do you next get together with them to advise of the next step? Well, they meet today at 930. That's a regularly scheduled meeting. And um, I, I don't know how much of this will be able to be discussed because you have to give, give notice. Um, so they're, they're, I'm anticipating that they may schedule a special session in the near future and the two removed commissioners have the right of appeal correct absolutely absolutely have the right of appeal matt thank you very much for your time this morning much appreciated sir all right have a good day thank you jefferson county prosecuting attorney uh, matt harvey on the program and that news broke yesterday so we appreciate uh, matt was going to be co-hosting today but because of that news obviously a lot of yeah. business had to take place in jefferson county this morning with the commission